A experienced implantologist will always know that it is not always possible to prevent dental implant failure in all cases and in all situations. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the etiology and how to manage and how to prevent dental implant failures in your practice. So basal implant failure, <coughs> we should know what is the reason and how to manage and importantly how to prevent. So knowledge about this will help us to prevent most of the failures. Uh, after doing all these things, if it comes, you should know how to manage. But most of the implant failures we can prevent, prevent, prevent. Okay. So, the term implant failure, we are not using, uh, we prefer using the term implant loosening. Okay. If it happens in ortho, uh, they use the term relapse. Right. If a uh, file fractures, okay. In previous textbook, they will denote the term file fracture or instrument fracture. Now, the term has been changed. File separation, instrument separation, it is not instrument fracture. So, to the patient, we have to tell the instrument has been separated. The patient won't get scared if you tell the implant has been fractured. Okay, so avoid using the word implant failure, implant loosening. Okay, in one center, they are using the word implant separation. What are you checking sir? I am checking for any implant separation, whether implant is separated from the bone or not. So these two terms are, uh, we should start using practically, either implant loosening or implant separation instead of implant failure. Okay. So the criteria for implant failure is mobility, if it is mobile then it is implant failure. Okay. Failure is more common in single molars, single molar replacement. Why? Because of using only one implant and more masticatory pressure. So these things combined with leading to more failure in lower molars. Okay. So what are the other reasons? Theoretical reasons: overheating during drilling and any contamination. Okay. These are the theoretical reasons. And practical reasons are. Miso with because of uh, lesser irrigation, okay, extreme speed. Okay. This may be the reason. It will create necrosis and long term it may create uh, no, implant failure. These are the theoretical reasons. Actually, whether we have over overheated or not, we won't know. Whether there is any necrosis or uh, not, um, it is difficult to find out the no, real thing. Okay, these are the possible reasons. So, some practical reasons are there. One is the mesodistal width is more, so the cantilever effect will be there. You can avoid by placing uh, either by bigger implant, bigger single implant or two narrow diameter implants. Okay. So not getting adequate primary stability. If the stability is 20 Newton or 30 Newton, then um, it is difficult. If you are placing multiple implant, if four implants are good, if two implants are 20 Newton, then it is okay. But if you are placing only one implant, if the stability is 20 Newton, then it is not a ideal situation. So, if you are placing only one implant and you are giving only one tooth, then the stability should be good. So, achieving primary stability is the first criteria. The first criteria. Then over drilling is one of the reason for uh, not achieving primary stability. Okay, you are drilling now. The, your osteotomy size is more. Length is not a problem. Sir. Length we have a limit, natural limiting structure. We don't have a much freedom upon the limb. So, cancellous bone. Okay. So, these, these are all the main reasons, practical reasons are high point okay. and the patient cannot recognize high point in implants because of lack of periodontal ligament receptors and this is also one of the reasons. The lingual aspect the high point is difficult to find. Buckle said you can visually see is there any high point or not, but lingually it is difficult to see. Even with articulating paper sometimes the markings cannot happen. So, the practical tip is coat the articulating paper with Vaseline, coat the uh, articulating paper with Vaseline and use it, you will get the markings, okay. Especially in ceramic rounds, because of polished surface, you cannot find the markings. There will be high point, the patient will be telling the high point, but, but when we use articulating paper, nothing uh, is visible. Use the Vaseline, paper, Vaseline, immediately you will see the markings, okay, so this is the clinical tip. And on the paper and use it. Okay, immediately. <laughs> and 
using carbon paper sometimes it is difficult to elicit the high point so use the article paper which is ideal for that okay